Hey all my fellow maniacs and soon to be maniacs out there, I am the Chainsaw Maniac. As always, I will be discussing some webcomic and webtoon related content, but now you should have already read the title and no. I will not be quitting my webtoon journey. This is more so over the revision I said I would do for the first season of my webcomic, The Merchant of Ignatius. Check it out if you haven't already. Webtoon and Tapas, all the links are down in the description down below because I will be hopping into a lore video next based on the webcomic as well. Hope you all enjoy that. Now getting into the video at hand, I will be discussing my decision on why I will be revising the first season as well as I felt it might shed some light on whether or not you should be redoing or revising the first few episodes and is it necessary for your webcomic based on the platform such as webtoon and tapas if you have any thoughts on the video comment down below what you think and if you are new to the channel feel free to hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell now how did i come to this decision and what changed my mind on revising the first few episodes of this webcomic well it goes back to the first time i started making this webcomic and what i intended to do with it at first this webcomic started out as a testing grounds for me to see how things work on webtoon and tapas deciding which would be the better platform for me as well as figuring out how the whole process works but as always i have a habit of creating interesting and appealing characters according to myself and i have a hard time letting go of a story when i see the great potential that it has that being said the merchant of ignatius was never intended to be the main ongoing series it still is not the main webcomic i plan on doing and i want to do is my upcoming webcomic series play the reapers which is still currently in the planning process so reflecting on my decision to revise my episodes i realized that all that time and effort i would have put into the revision can actually be added to the time i will be putting into working on my current short story which is a little test project i'm working on to perfect my comic making process using blender seeing if it's possible to make a web comic using blender alone as i feel it would be a more fitting tool for me especially regarding my years and experience with the program as well as my profession as an animator the merchant of ignatius will definitely still be your ongoing series as i still plan to do many more seasons well maybe not many more but a few more maybe three to five more seasons and i would like to see where it goes and as i stated before i will still be working on short stories in between seasons as well as working on seasons of my other ongoing series which i plan to create in the future so trust me i'm not going anywhere this includes youtube as well as i am planning on providing you with all the content that you need and will be focusing even more on this channel itself and what i can do to improve your experiences of viewing on this channel i will be doing live streams less frequently as well but but i will be increasing the volume of videos that i put out on this channel soon so you will still be provided with lots of content which includes more animation content as well which will be based on my webtoon related projects if you want to learn more about animation from a professional animator whether it's 2d or 3d animation stay tuned because you don't want to miss out on that so should you revise or redo the first few episodes of your series well it's all dependent on what your series is going to be and what it means to you if it's just a series in which you're using to kind of be a stepping stone for you and you're kind of using it just to figure out and get your footing in terms of creating web comics then i would suggest maybe just think about redoing it do you really want to redo and revise something and put all that effort in some and at the same time it's not really your be all end all you know your main web comic series that you plan on doing this is why I suggest if you're planning on doing webcomics, just maybe do a series of short stories in where you can actually perfect your storytelling and uh, work more on your art and everything. So, you know, you improve your art, you improve your storytelling and therefore you kind of build yourself up for your main series that you plan on doing as well. This is regarding webtoon and tapas. Be aware that your webcomic will not just, you know, because your chances of getting featured or whatever is quite low. So don't set your expectations too high, but at the same time, keep working out what you want to do. All I'm saying is just don't put your eggs in one basket, okay? Because you might just drop the basket, you might just crack all your eggs, and you might just not know what to do. So, you know, keep all your eggs, keep them in that basket, set them somewhere safe, and, you know, fry some eggs later if you can. I don't know where this analogy was headed, but uh, definitely messed it up. Cool. And I usually always suggest, if you can, to create a YouTube channel or some sort of video basis for your webcomics. 
it really helps for promotional purposes as well as building your own brand so i was just maybe looking into that this is a little quick tip for you guys and also i think i should talk more about the animation aspects of this channel that i will be working on because i know there's a lot of people who came from an animation background or they had a little bit of animation training and they enjoy the storytelling of animations and you know they realized oh shit this is actually a whole bunch of work but i want to show you guys an easy way to get your story out there with the least amount of animations you can do so we won't just be diving into frame by frame animation and you know just animating 3d characters i will be diving into like editing your animations storyboarding and those type of things oh and just a heads up i'm working on an awesome little project for the merchant of ignatius it's going to be a little cool animation kind of like an anime intro i'm working with it in the background it's awesome uh i'm just gonna do a little messing around in blender i see what i can do because it's really fun and i'm really interested to see the result so yeah keep posted for that if you guys want to check that out soon in the next video i will be hopping into more lore on my webcomic the merchant of ignatius so for your homework i suggest you give it a read so that if i throw a major spoiler at your face you won't be caught off guard now don't forget to roll up on it like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye guys <laughs>